What is your name? Nina Grace. And what grade are you in, Nina? I am a sophomore. Okay, Nina. So can you tell me about the robotics competition? What goes on out there? Um, in the robotics competition, you go to a specific high school, and there you get to adjust your robot, and then you do uh, this thing where they check your robot to make sure it's fit for when you actually do the competition. And then during the competition, you have specific junctions you have to put cones on, and you use a controller and uh, you use a controller to move the robot around, and you just have to be able to maneuver the robot in between junctions so you can put them. You're on, on the competition team, right? The, yes. So, what is your role there? What do you do? Um, I drive the robot, and I also help code the robot. How does it feel to be in an environment full of other computer-based students or just robotics interested students? Um, uh, for me personally, it feels very uplifting because I want to go into computer science when I get into college as well. So yeah, it feels very uplifting and very encouraging for me. Mm -hmm. Based on observing other teams at the competition, what have you learned? Um, the thing that I learned is that um, there were more strategies I could learn in order to um, maneuver my robot and actually get cones onto the junctions faster and actually uh, get more points. Would you recommend that other students join the competition? Yes, and I feel like if you have a strong base and like a lot of friends with you, it'll be a lot, like it'll be really fun for you to join the robotics competition. Okay, thanks Nina. Are you guys? I'm Tyrone Fuller. And I'm Salvador Cervantes. What is your overall reflection? My overall reflection. We are the robotics robotics what is it like driving the robot? Well, it's very nerve wracking because one wrong movement and you could drop the cone, for example. If you open up the arms at the wrong time, you have to raise the arm to the right um, height to put it on the junction. It's very stressful but it's rewarding. What motivated you to continue building the robot? Um, you know, after putting hard work into it, we kind of just wanted to keep going and see how far we could take it because of how much time and effort it took. What's your overall reflection? Overall reflection as a human player and coach of the Brooks Robotics team is the importance of the three qualities, determination, hard work, and dedication. I saw how these three qualities built my team into what it is today, leading us up to high ranks on our first time ever before. Thank you, Miss Sandu. Thank you for believing us and knowing that we can do this. Thank you for always supporting us and investing time into our project.